What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $600 second stimulus check update and $2,000 third stimulus check update. There's a lot going on this week. It is going to be a very big week with inauguration day now about 48 hours away, the impeachment that is or isn't going to happen, as well as the latest on the $2,000 stimulus checks and the different buckets of money that you can claim in the third stimulus check package. We're going to go over $3,000 and $4,000, two different buckets of money that you might be able to claim from this third stimulus check package. There's a lot of different things in this package. Honestly, there's there's so many different things in this package that uh, you might be able to claim multiple different buckets of money from this package going forward. We're going to go over a couple of them in this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos and help us reach our goal of 300,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing to say thank you to each and every one of you because without you guys, we wouldn't even have a channel. And it's a blessing to be able to even talk to uh, <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people every single day. It's it's kind of uh, crazy, to be honest. Give this video a like also for us if you can down below. It really helps out our channel, and let's jump right in. Remember last week, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the impeachment articles, articles of impeachment against President Donald Trump in the House of Representatives, and it now needs to go to the Senate. And at first, we're like, Mitch McConnell was going to try to delay it until the day before the inauguration, which is tomorrow. Well, it seems like now possibly the Democrats are delaying it. So tomorrow is the day before Inauguration Day. Tomorrow is President Donald Trump's last full day in office. The impeachment trial was supposed to start tomorrow in the Senate. And, well, uh, that may not even be happening. Chuck Schumer said, and this is the first time I've heard anybody say this, that if they impeach him after he's out of office, is can you even impeach somebody after they're out of office? That they would only need 51 votes. So yeah, it's very interesting what could happen. Are they going to delay this until after he's out of office and then impeach him so that he can't run again? But can you even impeach somebody after they're out of office? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. One thing for sure, it's going to be interesting. Unprecedented situation without question. Also, the U.S. Capitol was just put on lockdown just moments ago already as protests in the Capitol and in all 50 states across the United States are already beginning. There was a fire reported several blocks away and they put the entire U.S. Capitol on lockdown. There's up to 25,000 National Guard there right now in the U.S. Capitol alone to try to prevent a protest 2.0 from happening again this week. Joe Biden and his staff say that Joe Biden plans to pass at least 12 executive orders on his first day of being president, which is now 48 hours away. In addition to that, he plans to pass more executive orders every day for at least the first 10 days in office. We're expecting eviction moratoriums, foreclosure moratoriums, student loan payment pausing, and who knows? I mean, honestly, there's so many different things that could be on the agenda such as student loan forgiveness, a raise of Social Security of $200 per month, possible different stimulus packages or stimulus executive orders that could be passed through a presidential executive order. All this within the first 10 days of being president, with a large majority of them happening on the first day, which is now 48 hours away. Also, let's talk about some of the different buckets of money that are in the third stimulus package. Stimulus packages are always better than just a stimulus check because a stimulus package, which includes a check, has all sorts of different buckets of money, tax breaks, tax refunds, uh, credits, mortgage and rental assistance, unemployment boost money, uh, all sorts of different things. There is pretty much all of those things in the third stimulus package. And let me highlight a couple of them right now, including $3,000 and a possible $4,000 that you might be able to claim. 
Honestly, there, there's so many different buckets of money in this next stimulus package. And remember, Joe Biden actually introduced two stimulus packages. This first one that they're going to try to pass this month. And then the infrastructure package that he says is coming in February is the second stimulus package that they have already announced. Okay, number one is a increase of the child tax credit. This would increase to $3,000 per child or $3,600 for children under the age of six. The child tax credit would also be made fully refundable for the year, meaning families can get a refund for the tax credit. So in the past, sometimes you would just get a reduction on your taxes. And then if you didn't owe anything, uh, you wouldn't get any more of a reduction. They wouldn't give you a refund. Well, these are refundable tax credits now. So not only will they reduce your taxes, but if your taxes that you owe go less than zero and you get a refund, you actually get a larger tax refund based on these different tax credits that I'm going to tell you about. This first one obviously, be, obviously being the child tax credit of $3,000 to $3,600 per child tax refund. So that could easily equal a hefty, hefty thousands of dollars in tax refund or tax rebate from your taxes just by having children and with this new tax refund. Also, there's no phase in. Everyone would get the maximum tax credit for their children. It's really targeted at lower income households that are not receiving the full refundable credit. Okay, next up is the child care tax credits. Families would get a tax credit of up to 50% of their child care expenses for children up to the age of 13, up to $4,000 for one child and $8,000 for multiple children. So if you have children in daycare or child care that you have to pay for them, up to 50% of that from the third stimulus package when they pass this will become a refundable tax credit. So you can get up to $4,000 for just one child and $8,000 if you have basically more than one child, which is absolutely amazing. This can equal thousands and thousands of dollars back on your tax return as a tax refund, aka a stimulus check just from doing your taxes and if you pay for child care uh, for child care for your kids. The credit would also be refundable, and families who earn between $125,000 and $400,000 would receive a partial credit. So if you earn more than $125,000, uh, it'll start to decrease a little bit, but um, that's not going to be the majority of people. Next up is the earned income tax credit for people without children. Biden's plan calls for expanding the earned income tax credit for the year by increasing the age and income eligibility requirements and providing a bigger benefit for people without children. Right now, only those making less than $16,000 qualify for this credit. Biden wants to raise that cap to $21,000, and he would also expand eligibility to workers 65 and older. Childless workers would get nearly three times more, $1,500 in tax credits, from, the, from this new proposal in the third stimulus check package. Currently, these are just one-year proposals to help with the pandemic and those who are affected by it. But these likely will be popular changes which would put pressure to extend or make them permanent. On the $2,000 stimulus checks, now that Inauguration Day is only hours away, Chuck Schumer will be taking control of the Senate, which includes the impeachment proceedings and stimulus checks and stimulus packages going forward. Remember, it's almost a certainty that this $2,000 stimulus check package is, well, this $2,000 stimulus check is going to pass because, number one, it passed the House of Representatives with what, with what they consider a super majority of over two-thirds of the members. We had 44 different Republicans pass that bill in the Senate. The only reason it didn't pass and you don't have it in your checking account now is because of Mitch McConnell, who basically just tabled the bill and delayed it. That then cost him to lose the Senate majority and for Republicans to lose the Senate. Democrats now have control of the House, the Senate, and soon to be the presidency, and will be able to pass these bills without any Republican support 
in certain circumstances when they use the reconciliation rule. Joe Biden says he's going to try to get 60 votes on the first stimulus package, which includes the $2,000 increase, the increase the $600 check to $2,000. So $1,400 for adults, $1,400 for children, and $1,400 for adult dependents with the possibility of adult dependents also getting the first and the second stimulus check in addition. So $3,200 as a possibility for adult dependents with a minimum of $1,400, which is honestly really good news for adult dependents who missed out on the previous stimulus checks. This is going to help them so, so much. So we're going to have a lot of news coming out about this in the next few days. Make sure you're subscribed down below and click the bell icon to all notifications so you get notifications. And just remember, new videos come out at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. every single day Eastern time and sometimes at 11 p.m. when there's a lot of breaking news, which there will be this week. Also, I want to say happy Martin Luther King Day to everybody. And click this bottom video if you haven't gotten your $600 stimulus check yet, the second one. This will show you how to trace it. And this is my newest stimulus check video. Click on one of those to watch them next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.